Hi everybody, so this is my second video on using the Scalar Triple product to find the volume of a 3D shape. In this video, we're going to look at finding the volume of a tetrahedron. If you want to work along with me in this video, you can download a copy of a PDF from my website. I'll leave a link in the description below. So we should know from GCSE that the volume of a tetrahedron will be one third of the area of a base, which is triangle OAB, multiplied by the perpendicular height. And I'll label the height on our diagram. So it goes from the peak down to the origin, and this will be H. And I showed you in a previous video on this playlist how we can work out the area of a triangle using the cross product. So triangle OAB will have an area of one half of a magnitude of A vector A crossed with vector B. So a volume will be one third times a half, so one sixth of a magnitude of A crossed with B. And then we need to work out a perpendicular height. Well, if we have the magnitude of C as our hypotenuse, then H, I'll just show this clearly, would be the adjacent side, given this is theta. And to work out H, we can take the cosine of theta, and this will be the adjacent side, H, over the hypotenuse, which is the magnitude of vector C. So H will be the magnitude of C cos of theta. Then we can substitute this into here and we get the volume of a tetrahedron. Now we can compare this with the dot product where we've got the magnitude of two vectors, this one and this one, times the cosine of theta or the cosine of the angle between them. So we can write our volume as one six of A dotted with B. In this case, C dotted with a crossed with B, and we'll take a magnitude of less. And we're given the vectors for C, A, and B here. So we can substitute these in. The volume will be one six of a magnitude of C, one, one, zero, dotted with vector A, one, zero, negative one, crossed with vector B. 2, negative 2, and positive 1. We want this magnitude. So now we can work this out on our calculators. If we go to home and select vector, we need to define each of these three vectors, A, B, and C. So we'll select tools. I'll define this one as vector A, vector B, and vector C. So that's vector A with components 1, 0, negative 1. We'll execute that. We'll define vector B with the components 2, negative 2, and 1. We'll execute that and then define vector C with the components 1, 1, 0. We'll execute that. And then we can enter in this calculation. We want the catalog vector, vector C dotted with, so catalog vector, vector calc, what we want the dot product, opening brackets, vector A crossed with vector B. And then we'll close that bracket. And you can see we get negative 5. So the volume will be 1 6 of a magnitude of negative 5, which becomes 5 6. Okay? And that will be in units cubed. So that will be the volume of a tetrahedron. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. If you did find that helpful, please like and subscribe. And you can download the full lesson and the PDF that accompanies this video from my website, mrmathematics.com. I'll leave a link in the description below.